Well, earlier that night on Thursday, that is, Central Michigan will open its season at home against Oklahoma State. The Cowboys making their first trip ever to the mountain uh, town, Mount Pleasant, in what will also be their first meeting anywhere between the two programs. Oklahoma State 4-0 lifetime against the MAC. The Chippewas will be making their debut under new head coach and former NFL and Detroit Lions assistant John Bonamago. As many of you know, Bonamago recently completed his radiation therapy had a chance to ring the bell. Good for him after being diagnosed with tonsil cancer shortly after taking the job at CMU. He is expected and excited now to just focus on football. We inherited a, a good situation. Uh, they knew how to work. And not only that, they worked well with one another. So it's just a matter of implementing our team philosophies and then our uh, offensive, defensive, kicking game strategies. And they've bought in. They've worked exceptionally hard. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I'm very excited about this team. I'm a class of 86 grad, so I was there when there was Herb and, uh, and Curtis Adams and some guy named Bonamago who is there. How exciting is it to be back, you know, at an alma mater? It's indescribable. It really is. Uh, it's a place that I always hope one day to be able to return to. My dream came true. I have this tremendous opportunity, I hope. And I uh, plan to the very, make the very most of it. Obviously, your time in the NFL, you've played, been worked with some great head coaches. How do they help you or what you've learned from them? Uh, I've learned a great deal from all of those. I think uh, anytime you spend uh, time around great people, it can't help to have some of it rub off. Ultimately, you have to do things your own way. You have to coach through your own personality and be your own man. But there's a lot of life lessons, a lot of coaching lessons that I've picked up along the way that will be passed on to these young men and our coaches. Can you sense, uh, you know, the central people from that era under her back then or what Brian Kelly was able to do at his time, how much, you know, they would like to get back to that? Chippewa pride never dies. Amen. It's, uh, it's there, it's alive, it's well. Uh, it may uh, it may go dormant from time to time for short periods, but it always comes back. So uh, we know what that stadium looks like, what it feels like when it's energized, and you know that's what I'm looking forward to more than anything this fall. Your impressions with Coop, obviously a big arm guy. It seemed like he just he got better at controlling that, and just seemed to get better as the year went on. I, I, I love him. Yeah. I love every, I just he's a chip. You know he's he embodies what. Uh, what a student athlete should be. He's a great citizen. He's a great student. Uh, he's a great worker. Uh, he he just he attacks everything that he does. Uh, he's fun to be around. He's going to be a great leader on and off the field. He's going to do great things when he's done playing football. Uh, and I'm just excited to have a chance to coach him for the next two years. Jack Dole spent the day with Coach Bonamego a day earlier this week. He gave us an all-access pass. You can see Jack's story with the coach Thursday, a couple hours before their opener, under 24-hour news 8 at 5.